Minneapolis. It's opening night 2014, and we've got a good matchup here between the National League All-Stars and the American League All-Stars. Hi again, everybody. It's finally here. Well, on the show. circles for weeks is fine opening night it's the show and it's coming up next Back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch. Let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now, welcome your 2014 American League. Briefly now, we'll look at the two men named by their managers to get the ball here to begin this All-Star game. The guys will have much more to talk about as the night progresses, but first, let's have a look at the batting order for the National League All-Stars, as manager Mike Matheny will line his guys up this way. And they'll go to work against no small task indeed. The 2010 American League Cy Young Award winner, King Felix, right-hander Felix Hernandez. And on one pitch, he's retired. So the leadoff man is set down to commence this midsummer classic. And with that, Let's take a look here at the lineup defensively for the American League. It's brought to us by Majestic. Yasiel Puig will get his first shot at it here. Fastballs, it just never feels like it's going to be a strike. It's up at the letters, and that's a tough one to do anything. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for round number two. There's nothing wrong with a pop out and a strikeout when you're out on the mound. He's saying, oh. Starting lineup for the AL Stars is on your screen. They'll have to match up against one of the very best around these past few seasons, the hard-throwing right-hander Adam Wainwright. Mike Trout will stand in for the first time now, and he does so with 22 home runs on the ledger so far. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Now the 0-1 is right back past him on the mound, and it's going to keep on going into center field. It's a base hit. I mean, this is a big guy out there, and he relies on throwing a good, hard fastball. So, so he's got to have everything in perfect alignment to get those few extra miles per hour. And that's part of what makes him such a good pitcher. Giancarlo Stanton is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. Struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. Well, this is what folks mean when they're talking about finishing off a hitter. They decide to come right with the fastball here, 0 2, just runs right by him. 
Thomas Ramirez will stand in here, looking to keep the inning alive. 2-2 pitch on the way. And look out as this bat shatters on impact. And a fastball. Ball strike three, and the side is retired. We'll see the dangerous Jose Bautista when we come back. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Chase Utley will stand in now to lead things off. 7-8 live here. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Swing and a miss, and he's got that strikeout pitch working now. That's three in a row for him as there's one away. And sometimes it doesn't quite matter how hard a thrower a guy is. If he can locate, he's going to be successful. The location here is absolutely spot on, right on the inside corner. That's a tough, tough pitch. That's swung on and fouled straight back. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold, 0-2. I tell you, he's got a good pace, a good tempo to him out there right now. They get four strikeouts in a row as this is swung on and missed for the second out. And remember now, he finished off the previous inning with back-to-back -back strikeouts. And now he started this inning with two more. So he's really got it working out there now. We're already at four. <laughs> Do I hear five strikeouts in a row? And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Yasiel Puig will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Two straight fastballs now as he powers ahead 0-2. That may be the pitch that he'll remember from this at-bat. When he's hot, he doesn't miss that. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Man, and not only has he... ...one in for out number two. Miguel Cabrera will come in now with two away, and I've got to say, it may... Now here's a ball hit back up the middle, past Wainwright, and into center field for a base hit. John Lester is going to take over here in inning number five, as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep them in the game here. A look at our line score to this point, and I'm almost certainly jinxing things by pointing it out, but it's worth mentioning that zero in the hit column through two outs here in the fifth. Adam Jones will stand in. He grounded out his first time. On he goes down and lines this one into left field, a base hit. Josh Donaldson will try it again. He flew out his first time. Runners on the move for second. And this is swung on and bounced on the ground to third. Throw in time at first for route number two. Salvador Perez will stand in. A line out victim his first time. changeup but he's still able to get a lot of this one out to a deep right field and they're going to hit the board first tonight as this falls down for extra bases throw won't get him well he's been doing a really good job of working corner to corner but this is one of the first pitches we've seen that
trying to score out at home plate. But a run will score. Chase Utley will get things started here in the top of inning number And this is swung on and missed by Utley as he's retired for that number one. That was quite a nice little battle as we check out the sequence of pitches here. It was a six pitch at bat. And as you watch this, you'll see that he wasn't going to go down without a fight. He was able to keep the at bat alive by fighting off a couple of tough two strike pitches. But in the end, finally put away on that pitch right there, one and two. One away now. Here's the catcher, Jonathan Lucroy. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as he'll take a look at strike one. And there's a fastball that's hammered the other way to deep right field. And that's in there. And there goes the no-hitter. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Carlos Gomez will stride in again. He struck out sixes. It's three and two now. Yeah, and that's not the pitch you want to throw on two and two. That was so high, he didn't even have to think about swinging. Well, you know it's just the sixth inning, but you kind of get the sense that they need to come up with something. So that could be a really costly strikeout. Andrew McCutcheon will dig in again. He popped up in his first plate appearance and flew out last time around. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Surprising to you guys that it looks like they're going to pitch to him? It is to me. I mean, I wouldn't go anywhere near this guy with a base open. And he'll try to hold up in time, but to no avail as he went around and the inning is over. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes Yoenis Cespedes. He's going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. field and a welcome to the ball game there as he's got himself a pinch hit single. Ian Kinsler will come on to pinch hit now with a runner at first and nobody out. Center. That'll find some real estate out there for extra bases. Cespedes will get the green light around third. Now time called here is here comes the skipper from the third base dugout. And that will spell the end of the evening here for Adam Wainwright. He'll wind up lasting just five innings here. Didn't pitch all that poorly, yet he's gone nonetheless. Pat Nation will take over on the mound now here in the sixth inning. For the seventh, but first let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of play. Number Ian Kinsler who will stay in the ball game now as he comes on to play second here. Number three, Ian Kinsler. Max Scherzer is on the pitch now as he'll take over to start inning number seven. Paul Goldschmidt will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. And I think the only thing that's better than a game plan has been the execution of that game plan. You're exactly right. They've held this lineup at bay. And he'll turn and fire a desperation throw to first. Well, this would have taken a superhuman effort right here. Deep in the hole. You see he doesn't have time to plan himself, so he just leaps into the air, fires it across the diamond. Just a great effort, but this was always going to be a base hit. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. 
And you think at this point you have to get something out of this inning. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. NL leaves one. They trail things here two to nothing. Michael Brantley is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. center field and right off the bench he comes through it's a base hit Michael Brantley will stay in the ball game as he takes over in center now playing center field number Adrian Beltre is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now Kurt Suzuki will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out Dylan Batances will be summoned from the bullpen now as he'll take over to start inning number eight. Aramis Ramirez will dig in now. He's struck out and lined back to even at two and two. Ooh, there's a tough one to take right there on a one and two pitch, especially after fighting off so many pitches leading up to that. And oh, strike three called as he gets a little help there, one away. Chase Utley will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. Hit hard toward the right side. And that is through into right field for a one-out single. Hunter Pence is into the ball game now as he'll take over out in left field. Derek Jeter will stand in now to lead things off, and he'll do so with the same pitcher still out there. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. And this is taken in just shy of the warning track for out no. Jose Altuve will stay in the ball game now as he comes on to play second here. Now playing second base, number 27, Jose Altuve. Sean Doolittle is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Andrew McCutcheon will be tasked now with leading things off in their half of the night as they'll try to do something to prevent being shut out. And whatever they've done for the first eight innings hasn't yielded a whole lot so far, so quite frankly, I'm not expecting too much. Another fastball, another cold strike, nothing in two now. Boy, he sure can sling that thing, can't he? He sure can. A very wide arm angle comes from the first base side. It's not straight either, it's moving. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Yeah, and it's kind of been one of those days. There haven't been too many balls hit hard, and even when they do hit one hard, it's an atom ball. Yasiel Puig is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. And, and you can see him trying to be a little bit more patient here. He's got two strikeouts already, but he's got to be careful not to fall too far behind. That misses, says the home plate umpire. One and two. Where it misses, I'm not quite sure. And he is down on strikes again. So get your hats out. That's the third strike out of the game. And after that pitch was called the ball on the pitch before, I, mean, I think this actually qualifies it. Strike four. You know, on the mound, he's probably in here for strike one. Barring any late turnaround, the win would belong to John Lester. Put this one away for the final out, and the American League All-Stars move to 1-0 on the young season as this ball game is over. Yeah, you know, this game kind of felt like it could have been played back in 1968. Very well played, very low scoring, very quick game, too. I'll tell you, I could go for a few more of these this year. That'd be okay by me. Time for one final check of the line score as you see the key players there in this shutout victory. And 
guys, we were treated to an excellent pitching performance in this one by the gentleman you see right here, John Lester. An MVP performance, if I've ever seen one. He's our tops player in the game. Yeah, Matty, sounds good to me. They needed him to come out and give some support when he was called on, and he gave them a very good outing out of the bullpen. Enough to make him our player of the game.